Well, hello viewers. Uh, this is the uh, unboxing review of the SIG 226 Legion, single action only. Uh, this is a new series of pistols and equipment from SIG Sauer, and uh, so I want to go over with it, uh, go over it with you today. This is an unboxing video. I have not shot this gun. This, this gun actually does not belong to me. It's a uh, belongs to Ben at uh, Bullseye Guns. He was kind enough to loan me the gun so I could do a review. So, First and foremost, <clears throat> the uh, Legion uh, series of pistols and equipment is a new kind of uh, a new marketing uh, program through Sig Sauer. It's uh, exclusive equipment, um, exclusive communications from them, and sort of a, a members only, let me make sure I get that without the glare on there, sort of a members club um, of accessories and, and sort of gun culture type stuff that SIG has begun. Really kind of cool, uh, unique equipment and uh, kind of exciting, something different from a manufacturer. And thank you SIG for, you know, for, for uh, spending the time and the, and the marketing dollars on, on us humble uh, gun enthusiasts and giving us something a little special so kind of neat there so first and foremost the Legion comes in a regular SIG box uh, there are some additional cases and whatnot that you can buy through the SIG Legion series uh, accessories but it comes standard in a regular SIG box this particular one is the SIG 226 it's chambered in 9 millimeter and this one is in single action only so this is kind of a unique uh, SIG pistol, and it's one that I think is really pretty cool. Uh, that gives you some some great features and some really high end uh, uh, work uh, out of the SIG Pro Shop or the Custom Shop. That if you were to try and do it yourself, you, you know, the trigger work, that type of stuff, it would cost you a lot more than this pistol costs. Retail. Now, with that being said, this is not a cheap pistol. This is about a, I think the MSRP on this pistol is somewhere in about the thirteen or fourteen hundred dollar range. So it's not a cheap gun. But when you look at what you get for the money, as far as a pistol is concerned, and and frankly, it's got probably one of the nicest triggers of any pistol I've ever touched. So um, the the actual the actual gun itself is is pretty amazing. So let's get started. I'm going to go over the gun with you from. Uh, from from muzzle to uh, to buttstock here, or muzzle to hammer anyway. So a couple things about the uh, about the Legion. First and foremost, it is unloaded, empty chamber, empty magazine. Pull the magazine out here and leave it right there. First thing you're going to notice about the gun is the fact that uh, it's a different color. So it's a light, a very light gray finish on it. <clears throat> guys kind of a close-up there sort of a light gray finish I believe it is a phosphate coating very very nice very evenly coated no blemishes whatsoever in the coating so it, really a pretty gun any any blemishes you see there uh, is either oil or dust but uh, I looked the gun over very very carefully and really it was just a beautifully finished pistol as as deserving of a of a uh, <clears throat> of a custom shop sig so nothing spectacular on the on the muzzle end of the gun. The gun is equipped with night sights. <clears throat> they are unique to the Legion series of pistol. Uh, one of the things that makes it unique, and let me see if I can get it here, has a bright green uh, front sight, which is very nice. It almost has a uh, fiber optic look to it. It is a night sight, and it is very, very bright. And then it has sort of conventional darker uh, rear sights, so it, get, it really allows that front sight to jump out at you as you're shooting the pistol. Very, very cool and very easy to use. So from there, some of the other ad, uh, additions that you get, you get front, uh, front slide checkering, which is great if you like doing press checks and stuff like that. It, it gives you the, op the option of uh, manipulating the gun from uh, ahead of the breech. That's unique to the Legion. There are a few other custom SIGs that have that, but it's unique to the Legion. 
Moving back, uh, you get uh, checkering, a different type of checkering on both the front of the trigger guard and also on the front of the uh, grip. Uh, it's very nice, it's beautifully done. Again, very, very even, nice texture, um, very pleasant to the hand. The gun is equipped with a with a uh, t with a accessory rail, so it can take a tactical light or <clears throat> or anything like that. It has an enlarged slide stop and slide release. Uh, very very cool. I was looking at this. I wish I wish I had this on my standard Sig 226s. It's got a great feel to it. It's got an absolutely great feel to it, and um, especially. In a high-speed mag change, if you want to use that slide release, it comes. It, it really does come across uh, beautifully. It also has a unique trigger. I'll try and give it some background. You see, it's a straight trigger. Um, this gun has a custom trigger in it. It's probably one of the best triggers I've ever felt in single action. Um, it's it's probably somewhere in the two to three pound range. It's as crisp as as they come and um, in single action uh, mode it is just beautiful short reset just crisp short reset and an absolutely beautiful trigger um, I could definitely see um, real aggressive target shooting with this pistol or in carry it would be amazing uh, you get the Legion series hand grips which are unique to the pistol Again, very nice looking. Um, they've got the Legion emblem there. The uh, grips are are checkered fairly aggressively, but not so much that they kill your hands if you are not wearing gloves. And I think that's probably one of the biggest complaints I've seen with some of the like the G10 series grips. Um, you know, they're they're great grips, but unless you're wearing gloves, um, they really chew the heck out of your hands, and it's not particularly comfortable to shoot. So, um, very neat. Up on top of the gun, you get a Legion, let me see if you can see that in the light there, you get a Legion uh, engraving on the top of the pistol there. Very cool. Certainly sets the, uh, shows you that it is a unique um, slide. And coming back to the rear, you get an extended beaver tail back here so that you can get a very high purchase on the pistol. A lot of people complain that the SIGs have a very high bore axis. Um, this allows a very high purchase on the pistol without getting uh, bitten by the slide. And then it gives you an ambi safety here for the single action only um, hammer. And that's, again, very nice. Left or righty, you're good to go on that. And it's a very crisp safety up and down, very crisp, very positive, both audible and felt. The, uh, <clears throat> the gun has, in single action mode, when you pull this trigger, it's a slight staging of the trigger, first stage, and then just a, you hit a, a brick wall right there, and just a little bit of pressure, and it's absolutely, absolutely crisp as it goes through its... Uh, firing cycle. Beautiful, beautiful trigger. On the reset, just a really short, crisp reset and it's absolutely top of the line. The uh, magwell on this gun, the grips form a slight, slightly wider, It's I wouldn't call it flared, but it's just a very positive uh, magazine well. When you go Put your next mag in, and the back of the grips also have a unique checkering on there um, that, again, just gives you a really, really solid, really, really solid grip on this pistol. It has absolutely, absolutely um, comfortable and great purchase. The cool part about these guns is obviously that it's it's big. It's a big pistol for a nine millimeter, so I, the felt recoil on this thing has got to be next to nothing. I have not shot the gun yet. So, um, but I will be, and uh, I'll report back to you on how that goes. But uh, I absolutely, absolutely adore um, what they've done to this 
uh, Legion series of pistols. One other thing too that I did notice uh, the slide to frame fit on this gun is very very nice. Um, I've been at one of my one of my big criticisms of later model model SIGs. You know, I'm, you guys know I'm a big fan of the early German SIGs, but one of my complaints about the later model, especially the milled slide guns, is that they just don't have the slide to frame fit that the early SIGs did. This one this one is very very tight, beautifully done. Um, couple other things about it. Um, <clears throat> the, on the downside, the, the single action only for me, um, I know some, some guys swear by them, they love them, they use them for duty carry, for, for, for concealed carry, you name it. I'm still, I'm still a little, you know, I'm a little old fashioned when it comes to that. I've I was never a 1911 guy. I do own one, but I was never a, a 1911 uh, aficionado and carrying it cocked and locked. Um, I wish the gun did have a decocker. It does not. Um, so you do have to pull the trigger in order to get that hammer to drop. Otherwise, you're just going to carry it in single action mode with the safety engaged all the time. Again, if that's your manual of arms and you're comfortable with it and competent and you're trained well, that's not going to be a problem and you'll, you know, you'll never have an issue with it. But again, for me, it's just that one that it's just that added thing that it's that added component component of human error that you can get when you do that. I'll probably get a, get a lot of hate mail from you 1911 guys and I, I, I accept it willingly but that is the reality of, of this. It's um, one of the advantages of, of pistols like you know traditional revolvers or a Glock pistol or whatever is just, just one less thing that needs to go wrong. But again it's to each their own. I will tell you that this is probably again one of the nicest triggers I've ever felt and a very positive, beautiful safety. So if you're comfortable with this manual of arms, you're going to rock and roll with it. Um, and, you know, like I said, I'll, I'll, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a pet peeve of mine. It's, not, it's nothing negative on the gun. I just kind of wish it had a decocker. I know SIG has the ability to put one on, or probably does. Huh? So, <clears throat> um, overall... Uh, again, like I said, it's it's not a cheap pistol. SIG 226s are not cheap pistols to begin with. With all the custom work on it, though, I think it's a great value. If you were to try and build this pistol out of a conventional 226, you'd be hard pressed to do it for for you know for the same amount of money or or anywhere even close to it to what this pistol costs. And the overall finish and the overall kind of packaging of it is beautiful. It does come with two 15 round. SIG 226 magazines. They're just standard 226 mags. Nice high quality. Um, the uh, and of course all of the the Legion paperwork. Uh, I have I am excited to go shoot this gun. I have not again I have not shot it yet, but I think it's going to be an absolutely rock star shooter. And uh, I will report back to you uh, once I've had the opportunity to to put a few rounds through it and see how it feels. But uh, uh, if you guys know me, I'm a, I'm a 226 fanboy anyway, so um, I can't imagine it doing anything where I wouldn't enjoy it. But uh, anyway, that is the SIG 226 Legion in single action only. Beautiful pistol. I want to thank Ben again for loaning me the gun so I could do the review on it for you guys. If you have any questions, uh, please feel free to ask. In the comments, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like me and uh, don't forget to share the channel with your friends. Keep in touch. We'll see you on the next one, guys. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.